I wanted to grow up and kill the man that killed my father. Ubon King's story of survival began at the age of 13 when he lost his father. My father was everything that I wanted to be. My father gave me hope for tomorrow. My father was the God that I saw. So when he died, he had taken away my life. I didn't, I didn't um, like life anymore. He was 39 at that time, and we found out he had a second wife and had four children. The two mothers used to throw plates, pans at each other. So I learned my dexterity in that house. In there. To be able to maneuver, I had to try and fend for myself. While chaos surrounded him, Ubong had one major focus, to avenge his father's death. Unfortunately, by the time I grew up, the man had died. Seeing that revenge was no longer an option, Ubon King desperately needed to put his life in order. And then one day... I hit somebody with a car. That evening, I had another accident. I hit a man who was drunk on a bike as well. The next morning, I had another accident. And I was afraid now, three accidents in two days. So I was scared to leave and I was scared to die. I said, if at least I die, let me go to heaven. I had to go to church. Obong accepted Christ as Lord over his life and eventually became a part of the security team of his local assembly. That passion for not allow, wanting to see anybody lose his property or his father was what now directed a passion into an industry called security. So it became interesting and fun. It was service, it was everything. Because scripture says that when God prepared the Garden of Eden, he told man, he said, protect it and guard it in a translation. So I said, okay, my name of the company is called Guarded Security. I did not know that I needed a license. I didn't understand the business of security. It did not live long. My condition was not very good was not pleasant at all. I now started staying in uncompleted buildings and eating food was a luxury because, you know, we were not in the condition of one, one, one. No, it is zero, zero, one or one, zero. We don't have two ones in a day. I'm on ripe purple. It will serve as vegetable and meat. Ubong met Ivy in church and he knew she was the woman of his dream. They were sure they had a future together what they didn't know was what it would take to get there. When he proposed and I said yes, all hell <laughs> broke loose. <laughs> because a lot of people could not imagine why I would say yes to somebody who would not be able to take care of me. But I had clear ideas of what I wanted. Ubong and Ivy got married and gradually things became better for them. God had told me to do security, maritime, and logistics. I did not know what to do. But because God had said I should follow that industry, I decided to follow it there. So I began to know the players in the industry. I joined LinkedIn, and I started studying combating piracy. As he continued to study, doors of opportunities began to open up to him. Then one day, something remarkable happened. I received a call from the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago High Commission and said, King, we would like you to plan security for the ambassador and 10 of our guests. They are coming into Lagos. We have heard about you and you are trusted. So I prepared a proposal and sent it. Immediately they approved. My profit on that deal was $4,000 equivalent. I received another call that same day to provide security for somebody in Aquaibom State. Four days, my profit was $2,000 and they were ready to pay. A third call, same day, that I should plan security for a German for 15 days. My profit was $7,000 and everybody was ready to pay. 
That money that I thought I was making one year, I made it in three months. And that's how I began to grow. Today, Ubon King is the chairman Protection Plus Limited and founder of the Ubon King Foundation, whereas Ivy King runs a branding and publishing company and an NGO called Save Our Women and Girls. She is also a UN ambassador of peace. Together, they share their story to inspire many. I have an understanding that you don't just serve God in church alone. Whatever work you're doing, you know, whatever career, you take it like a service unto God. So when people understand that, it will change their orientation about their job and they will do it as unto the Lord, not unto a boss from whom they are expecting rewards. Of course, the boss will reward you with some payment, but the ultimate one is the one that when God blesses your bread and your water, you will not need to expend too much effort and things just keep happening. Things just unfold before your very eyes. God is not a liar. Whatever God has said concerning you, believe it, you will become it. Walk in faith and exercise your authority as a Christian to confess it. God says, that which I hear you say, that will I do. So keep walking in faith, trusting God, fellowship with the brethren, and look for quality mentors who can help you, you know, show you and tell you from experience, like you're hearing my own, tomorrow we'll hear your own. Stay faithful and stay committed.